But why would I want to change something or like make myself look better? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that way I am. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. AB, one thing that you change about yourself physically. No, nah, I'd reduce my cock length, like, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. A very special episode. It's our 10th episode. <laughs> um, I'm your co-host, Kyojin. And it's your boy, AB. And we've got a special guest with us today. Adam again. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back for another one. Yeah, and to celebrate today's 10th episode, or making it to 10 episodes, well, first of all, thank you guys for all of the support. Um... You know, obviously, I'd like to thank my parents first. We couldn't do it without, we do this without them. If you know, if they never get birth, you know, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> nah, but honestly, obviously, we would like to thank the supporters in it for obviously supporting our stuff, for sharing, streaming, all that stuff. Uh, and there is something to plug before we get started as well. AB. My, please, which we're closing in that 100 subs on YouTube. Please, please, please uh, follow up, share all of this. Please, man, get everyone that you know to subscribe. I want We want to hit 100 subs before the end of January, fam. There's only 50 more subs. Please make it happen. And 50 more subs by the end of January? For all of you guys. Yeah, we can easily make 100. If you guys put your mind to it, yeah. just click that subscribe button. And also watch the visuals. We've got visuals up now on YouTube. Um, so, yeah. To celebrate 10 episodes, we are doing a Q&A today um, with all the questions that you guys sent in. You know, I, I know I do this like kind of every week here, yeah, but I kind of want to, you know how last week we said the one out of the week was people who went to New Year's party and sessions and all that stuff, yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't want to go, I don't want to depress the audience every week here, yeah, but I feel like the Wallads have out did themselves this week, if that makes sense, yeah? I didn't say the same people. This is, this is, people within that group within that category okay because yeah? yeah. these people they went they, they went to the parties was we established that all last week and they were wallads last week now this week knowing that they went to all these parties and stuff yeah i'm seeing the same people who posted up block parties and all that shit yeah posting things on twitter like oh my god london has a one in 30 rate of covid i'm so scared oh, yeah. this is so scary <laughs> like what did you think was gonna happen I hope yeah, you don't, bro you don't you don't get the <laughs> opportunity to laugh now <laughs> I mean, you don't get the opportunity to be scared now. Why should you be scared when you when you were saying stuff it's like, true. "Oh, um, if if you want to be safe, stay at home yourself. Why should I protect you and stuff like that?" And now you're moving scared. You know Fronting for social media, isn't it? I can't lie. There was Stupid, one person on, on Snap here. Yeah? They like they were just posting motors at their yard every day. Yeah, <laughs> and then at the end of the week, yeah, I know I shouldn't laugh in it, but they were on their bed in their bed crying because they got COVID. <laughs> I was thinking, what did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> that, that was AB in it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I swear you had a test. I had a test though. Yeah. That's so, why I, 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 I don't know if you can see, but he's not in his usual house. He's in a government facility right now. <laughs> I've been quarantined, fam. <laughs> I've been I'm a natural spreader. You're all getting right, probed. Right. Depressing one out of the week out of the way late, out of the way. Yeah. Um, it's a funny one, one day, man. We do need to. Have, I mean, to be honest, I, that one about the the one about the girl getting COVID while partying all week is pretty pretty funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. That's quite funny. It'll be funny if she does. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. I, ho- I hope I hope you watch this as well. You, know? you don't need to relax, <laughs> man. You don't need to relax, man. I'm not editing the. I'm not editing a bit of as well. But I do not endorse this. Yeah. But anyway, mm. while I do the week over, let's get in. To the questions i have something to say yeah you lot at home are bloody weird you're all horny what the hell's wrong with you everyone's horny fam yeah stop asking us also titties we're men of faith <laughs> come on man it has to be love watching brother that's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah let's, exactly let's, man i let's, i let's get, let's get edited out i'm the family friendly influence on this uh on this podcast so <laughs> i refuse to answer that <laughs> moving on moving on swiftly <laughs> I, I, I got a first question from someone they said why did you start this podcast and is it hard do you want to answer first okay um well we'll keep, 
I, I, probably for personally for both of us, the the reason why we started might have been a little bit different, isn't it? But for me personally, yeah, um, one of the things that we spoke about, obviously, in our sixth form time last week was that, um, you know, we had that corner in the canteen where they used to have, like, all these banging conversations and, like, p- p- random people that we didn't even, like, know would come and sit and join in the conversation or, like, even sit there just to listen to the conversation. We were ahead of the curve yeah. and we started a podcast. Yeah, man. <laughs> With no funds, man. No fun. Live podcast. Drink no bag coming person. through, yeah. Yeah. Giving out entertain- free entertainment, yeah. So like, I was... That shit be. Yeah, so I was thinking, I was looking at that thinking like, yo, our, our shit was kind of funny, you know, like people were coming up with crazy facts in football, all this nonsense, blah, blah, blah all that stuff, yeah. And then also, I just, just feel like it would be a cool thing to do. And then there was one more thing. Um, me, you, so me, AB and Landlord, we went, I think that idea was in in, in my head, your head for a while, innit? You both said it at the same time. But it was in our head before that as well. Well, yeah. it was in my head personally before that as well. But then I think we went to like Shisha at like five o'clock, yeah. And we get there, it's, it's, it's light, it's early. And we're like, oh, this, we come out early time. It's kind of weird, now. And then what ends up happening is we get there at five o'clock, yeah. And we're literally talking, 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 yeah. We check our phone, it's 1, 1, 1 a.m. in the morning. And we're like, yo, if we could do this, surely surely we could start a podcast. And I think that's how it became like me and, uh, me and AB thing. And then like our friends coming up and, as guests. Originally, it was just like, I, d- I didn't know who I was going to start with and who I, like what was going to happen. But that's when like, Titan Talk started, if that makes sense. That's the Titan Talk, fam. Yeah. yeah. That was like two years ago. Two years ago, I like. Yeah, Swear, it's been that long. Two years ago, I mean, made was all it? the socials a year ago. Damn. Was it, wasn't, it, wasn't it a year ago? It was not a year ago, 100%. Damn, I'm, b- I'm bad with time, so I don't really know. Because remember, last year was your dissertation year. Yeah. And the year before that is when we actually spoke about it. But we, we held off from last year because you had... Wasn't, you... Uh, last year was like 2020, but 20, I'm still counting us as like technically when like the extension part of 2020 right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, what about you? What, how, like, what was your reason for starting a podcast? I just think, I just know that I just got some, like I got some hot takes. I know that people find it entertaining. And I, I just wanted to do something new in it. I just wanted to want to put something out there that like create something and put it out. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Because obviously, other things that 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 I want us man to do and that. Um, yeah, man, can't lie. I just I just feel fucking. Like, let me do it. Like I'm seeing all these like these these unfunny people and like people with no personalities and just do you know what I'm saying? Just doing their thing. So I just feel fucking. Like let me let me get the, mm. let me get my piece of the pie in it. When did when did like the idea for you? Well, obviously, the idea for time talk and us doing it together came together on that day yeah but like when did you get that idea of like when did you start to get the idea of how you wanted the podcast to look like and sound like and who you wanted to do it with and all that stuff it was after it was literally on that day yeah before that i was literally like i was bare like in and R in like i was like yeah, yeah we'll do this I had bare ideas like like you saw you saw my notepad didn't it like i had mm. bare ideas yeah but i just like do you know what i'm saying then after like after when you and landlord like came in Mm. Was that like, cool? Like that's like a good, like duo slash trio sort of thing. Yeah, like someone else is on it. Sorry. Like you, you knew that oh somebody else is on it, and this can actually become a thing rather than it, like, this is me by myself. Exactly, and obviously, yeah. obviously, Osman, including like agony ads, is someone. Close <laughs> to yeah, like, I'm, it's not like man's doing it with like with some. Do you know what I'm saying? Someone who just met and then they yeah. Try- Oh, cause like it was a force like it's a random that um, mm-hmm. like, over ten plus years like do you know what I'm saying? Hundred percent, yeah. I feel like it was like a whole like it was like a natural thing, man. None of this shit is forced, man. It's just it was just meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I definitely think like look, I was I, when I was thinking of like the idea of a podcast, I was looking at the random thinking like yo, the random are funny, and like I'm sure they would want to get involved in something, and even like you know even so even like after we started and we put the ideas down all that stuff yeah. I was looking at like you know like filthy fellas, isn't it? Mm. When, when you deep it, it's like poet, and then obviously there are some people that are already well known, like Vuj, and then man, they know each other from like the industry, if that makes sense. But then mm. if you're looking at like what Specs, uh, Loons, uh, Mugs was from before, obviously he was a rapper, isn't it? But like a lot of these people are just like friends that poet would knew would be funny. Yeah, like, mm. you'll, you'll come on the show, and now look, look at what they're doing. Like Savage Dan, that guy was like, um, 
playing semi professional football. I don't know what job he was doing, but like he wasn't like someone. You know, you know he's a he's a boxer as well. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's doing all this sporty stuff, yeah. And obviously, Poe knew him as like you'll be good for the show. And now he's working with Chelsea, bro. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. So, what about like in terms of obviously I don't want to stick on this question too long, yeah. But for me personally, one so one thing that I thought when I first initially decided that I do want to do a podcast with you, yeah. One thing I thought about was like. I think naturally I'm quite like a quiet person in it. Mm. So going into it, I was a little bit worried that like, obviously, like don't take defense to this, but like, obviously you're a loud person, in it, like an outgoing person. In it. And I thought to myself, like, would I get <laughs> drowned? Dr- like, would I be able to shine if that makes sense? And I think I felt that in the, like maybe the first couple of episodes. And then as we, as, as we went, worked through like two or three more episodes, I feel like the balance really came well. And now at times I feel like I don't shut up and you you're pretty quiet. If no, that makes sense. I don't want to like just speak over, cut my off, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's I need to be. You know, you know what I'm saying. I can't if 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 I no, do. Uh, yeah. Don't have the man around, man. I'll get. I would get cancelled in the first episode. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I can imagine that. <laughs> so, I, I can't. I'll be the first one to say that I can't do this thing on my jacks, fam. I need. You know what I'm saying? 100%. No, no. I need like, not not 100 percent you need you need us here, but like 100 percent like if if we didn't do the editing in like the first few episodes on my days. What's on? Game over. Things that I would just say, and then you would be like, no, nah, no, nah, yo, you can't say that. But I would just say it anyway, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. now, but I think it, it balanced out well. Well, personally for me, in it, like I feel like the balance we got obviously we got our latest edition ads. Yeah, man. Ads. <laughs> so it's good. Out here. Obviously, the if you start getting like more people involved, it'll be better. Yeah, I'm just w- I'm just waiting to get paid, <laughs> <laughs> bro. We we don't even get paid. We put money into a weekly fam. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it, there's a subscription to upload, bro. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't even know that. Yeah, bro, this thing is not cheap, fam. I tell you that for free, fam. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not so, cheap. So, guys, we're we're, we're literally pay. We're literally paying to entertain you guys, man. Them, yeah. So like, just recognize that, innit? You ain't paying to, you ain't paying for us to entertain you. We're paying for us to entertain you. Yeah. Yeah, we do feel like that's mad, innit? That's not the be all end all, innit? Is the yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of the main course. thing that we're actually putting our content. I think one of the main things is that we actually we enjoy it as well. Like, if if I honestly said if I didn't enjoy it, then I wouldn't be here doing it. Like, why am I going to put hard work for something I don't enjoy? Well, look, people need to realize that. That like, this thing is not easy, fam. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, number one, yeah, because everyone we all got we all got our own like jobs or whatever, yeah, our mm-hmm. own schedules. Even picking a schedule to fucking to record is so difficult, fam. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But it's it's all right. We we make it happen. That's what I'm saying. We make it happen. Yeah. Okay. That was that was that was the second part of the question. Is it hard? And I guess we kind of we kind of answered that. I mean. We're, we're all working like full time jobs basically right now. Yeah, it's hard in terms of like, like logistics, like getting like getting man getting a man and together and that. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, even landlord's not here because obviously man he needs to pattern up whatever. <laughs> like, he needs to do his thing. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's, he said it's he would. Ta- 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 time constrictions in it. Like today I need to leave at a certain time. People aren't mm-hmm. joining to a certain time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it is it is it is hard, but I think it's hard setting up and like editing. Like the before and the after of the podcast is hard, but when you sit down and when you when we're all like in a place together talking, yeah, it's, like the, e- it's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. It was much easier when um before lockdown, like because mm. it was just it was just literally like a fixed schedule, like yeah, be at the crib. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. To be so, honest, though, we've only been here like what two episodes so far, so we, if we might get used to it and we'll we'll get better at it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's but yeah. All right. yeah. It's, it's, it's all right. Hard work is... as well, like learning on the job as well. Yeah, yeah. In terms of editing and shit, like, so. But yeah, do you have a question? How long does it take to prepare for one podcast? Oh, we kind of, in terms of like the very first episode. Oh, sorry to cut you off, do you want to go? Sorry? Do, do you want to, do you answer? Yeah, no, go on, go on, you already started. Oh, so like in terms of like the very first episode, it did take a lot of preparation. Like we needed to buy this, buy that, and like we've never we've never worked with 
audio before. Do you know what I mean? Like if you were just recording like a quick video, you get your phone out, record, and that's it. But then like with all this like recording, there's like XLR, all the all the setup guides tell you there's like USB XLR. Um, there's a high budget one, mid budget one. Today, you know, it's coming tomorrow. Yeah. So like all these things are, are tricky, and then like we'll end up. I think a lot during the first like few episodes, we would end up like together at the studio and be like, oh shit, we haven't got this, or oh shit, this doesn't work. Do you know what I mean? Like things like that. Um, in terms of actually setting up for every episode, the Zoom ones are really easy. Um, the other ones are just like, once we set out the logistics of where things go, we just get to the studio and set up and that's it. Yeah. It takes like 20 minutes max. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah man. It's, it doesn't take that long. Like, even like that quiz and like, it just comes quick. Like, as soon as we've got a topic, like, and because there's like, what, there's four of us now, it's easy yeah. to just like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, cool, let's talk about this. And if something's not good, they will say like, no, nah, you could do this instead. Like, so in terms of what we, first we actually didn't prepare this thing. Um, so it was a bit scary. And it was like, it just didn't seem like, do you know what I'm saying? It just, it was just dead quality. That's why we didn't put out the first like two, three episodes, I think two episodes. Mm. Yeah. Put it out. But now it's like, it's well structured and shit. So it doesn't yeah. take that long. Also, there's no, um, there's no like pre-preparing the conversation or anything. It's literally like we just talk. Yeah, it's not scripted. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's no planning. There's not even a plan. Yeah, yeah. You just talk and let it flow. We have we haven't hit those serious co- uh, topics where we might need to plan something before, or research something beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there was one that didn't come out, and we felt like, we felt like we. I I don't know if you remember, Ab, but like we felt like we spoke kind of out of passion. And we researched quite a lot, but it was probably more we could have said, so we didn't release it. We were tiptoeing on yeah. it. Um, the question here that. says... Hmm? I want to hear that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll send you the, the drafts in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As it is, it's, it's a sick episode, I'm not going to lie. Very good episode. Uh, it, it was just taking like a lot of editing, bleeping. Yeah. Um, it was nothing cancelable, guys. Just don't... You yeah, don't think that. Uh, I might leak. I might leak some. Just yeah, follow leak. me. Uh, follow me on the gram and I might leak what, some. <laughs> one, one day we can, we can we can upload it. It's calm. Man. Like I don't think it was it was that big of doing it. Yeah. But um, next question. Somebody asked, "What's Kyojin's hair routine?" And I don't know what to say. Like, I just I just use Cantu all the time. Um, Bad B, yeah. No, because for everyone who has curly hair, yeah, stop using like your family shampoo. Because it's got all these sulfates and I don't know what else in, and it ruins your hair. Um, but yeah, in lockdown, I don't I don't really take too much care of it. I just like wash it. I don't. But like in out of lockdown, I would have like a thing where the first day I would wash it and then put leave-in condition on it. Then the next day, I like put curling cream in it. Then the next day, I'll put like styling cream in it. And like yeah, and also stop washing your hair so much, guys. Like wash it every three days or something. Don't wash your hair every day. It, your hair's gonna fall out. Are you really giving out hair tutorials? Yeah, come on, man. If you if you if you want me to upload a hair tutorial on YouTube, smash that like button. I'm joking. <laughs> no, it's not joking. Smash it. Smash it. Like uh, it's okay. I don't mind. You have we'll a good hair care podcast next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He likes getting his hair pulled. <laughs> what? There ain't nothing wrong with that, man. <laughs> I ain't into that. I ain't into that. I'm joking. Right. Shall I read one out, yeah? Yeah. Oh, this is a good one, yeah? If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would it be? Damn. That's... They don't have to be famous. Yeah. Uh... Wait, who's answering it first? Shall I answer? Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Like, do you know what? It's really weird. I was talking to someone today at work about like famous people. Like, I was like, they, they asked me, Oh, if you saw someone famous, like, would you take a picture of them? I'm like, No, like, yeah, that's just not me. And you know? like, I, I don't, you're not a fanboy. I, yeah, I'm not a fanboy. So I don't think I would choose anyone famous. I think it would be like, like my, not not ancestors because it would I probably wouldn't be that far back, but like my like my granddad's parents or my grand my grandparents grandparents. You know what I mean? Just to just to find out stuff about myself, uh, isn't it? Uh, 
Yeah. I'm kind of kind of disappointed you didn't say the Prophet Yeah, that it, we oh. said four. We said four. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I put, I probably uh, I, I probably wouldn't put him in there. I'm not gonna lie to you because I feel like. I'm I'm not oh. on that level. I'm not on that level to be sitting there in that, on that table. Yeah. Bro, also, how many questions man can ask, like, bro, but, that's a big thing, you know. No, but the thing is, like, it, uh, like the religion is complete in it. So, whatever you need is the information is there already. Yeah. Like, for you to ask any other question, there's no need for that because all the information you need is there already. No, in terms of like, oh. just like, like preparing for battle and. Like yeah. some sort of like intricate detail or something. Like, like what's his what was what was his hair routine like? Yeah. <laughs> when he yeah. when he traveled, he had four four braids. Yeah, yeah. He used to braid his hair. Is yeah. it? Four yeah, braids yeah. when he used to travel from place but to place. Kelj, if he's if he if he uh, come in, if he start next week episode in braids, I will actually donate hundred pounds to any given charity fam. Who's gonna braid my hair to, right now? I don't know, fam. Nobody in my family can do it. But... You got a week. Yeah. yeah, but who am I going to go to to break my hair? I don't know. You, you got a week to find out, innit? <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, yeah, now that makes me seem like a prick because now you said you're going to um, donate the money to charity and I'm, yeah. I'm going to seem like a prick for not doing it. That charity really needs the money, though. What's your four? Uh, my four? No. Yeah, the what, the thing is, you got... Sorry? Me, me, me. Is your name Arden? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it, yeah, it... Like all four of them would just be like people from my family, like that, I, that I've never met. I think it would just be so interesting to find out about like my, my own history. That's sick. Yeah, I think yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> four of them. <laughs> what about you, what about you, Abby? Uh, Dave Chappelle. Interesting. Uh. My granddad's dad. Um, Can I stop you there, though, for a second? As in, like, like the first. first. Thanks. I've had plenty of meals with you. (laughs) Uh, Number four. Probably Michael Jackson just asking, yo, like, what really went (laughs) Are you a nonce? (laughs) Yeah, I know. But if you, if you deep that, yeah. So you said like, like Dave Chappelle, your granddad, um, the the first prophet, and uh, who is it? Michael Jackson. Yeah, that's a weird think, mix. You got to think about that's the chemistry, fam. Yeah, <laughs> they're not gonna get along at the table. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Michael Jackson's gonna be doing up hee hee, and like you know, it's gonna be weird. Only Michael Jackson, and Dave Chappelle, are gonna get on. Well, one table, fam. Yeah, like I didn't table all together. No, it don't have to be. I, th- I, I thought, thought that, that was, was a question. Yeah, I thought that was a question. No, like four people having the same meal. It could you imagine that would be imagine Dave Chappelle uh, and, your, and your granddad's dad having a meal together. That's Dave mad. Chappelle's Muslim, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and Michael Jackson's apparently Muslim. As well. <laughs> 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 well, don't, don't, don't you know he sang Give Thanks to Allah? <laughs> yeah, that was that fake Nasheed on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> it was Zayn Bika. <laughs> <laughs> I believed it, you know. I believed it so much. When yeah, I was a kid. for real, man. All, all those videos, like he was about to come a Muslim, and that's why the doctor killed him. Yeah. Oh yeah, all them conspiracy so theories. Dumb, man. Yeah, yeah. So are we not? Are we not considering chemistry or not? Not really. Oh. Because to me, other, like, I don't care to talk to each other. No, I, I, I want to talk to them. Mm. Oh, say no, say no. For me, it would probably be my my nan, uh, because obviously she passed away when I was young. But that's the person someone I was close to. And then her husband, I've never met him in it. He passed away when my mom was young. So it'd be interesting to meet him and see what he was like. Uh, then after that, I don't know after that, you know. It's like. That's a very good question, though. Like, I've never thought of that before. It's quite, it's quite yeah. yeah. After that, it'll probably just have to be celebrities, isn't it? Just like someone, someone really funny in it. Like, probably Dave Chappelle, someone really funny that's going to crack me up. After that, do you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah. That's three. Yeah, I was uh, about to say. You got one more? Uh, Probably Kate Hopkins, so I can punch her in the mouth. <laughs> so you, you advocate, you're, uh, you advocate. 
Three well, these are, I, I, I spend the I spend the first like half of the dinner explaining to my grandparents that like, this is Katie Hopkins and she's a, she's a bit of a bitch in it. Then I punch the, then I punch in the mouth. Why would you want your grandparents to share a meal with Katie Hopkins of all people? I, all I'll do yeah is I'll, I'll put spicy food out there. Like, my grandparents will be calm. Katie Hopkins will be on the floor. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean she will be dying? I right, someone clip that noise that he just made. <laughs> <laughs> When I told you that Cajun is the baddest, people don't want to <laughs> No, check it, check it. All right. Um, oh, someone said, what is your favorite memory of all time? Damn, that's that's quite Bro. large, you know. I have too many, man. All right, if I say what is your favorite memory, what's the first thing that pops in your head? School. When it comes? School, like in general. Yeah, that's like six bomb times, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was that first time I saw Dave Chappelle because obviously we were just talking about Dave Chappelle. That's the first thing I was like, uh, yeah, that my, head, that my mind went to. But it, it's definitely up there, but I don't know if it'd be my favorite. Favorite, that's quite lucky though. Because then something you thought of straight away or something actually semi recently, like it was a year ago, but it's no, semi recent. Oh, yeah, you saw him before. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing though. It's like school's the first thing that I think of when someone asks me that question. But I, I feel like if I deeped it a bit more, I'd, I'd probably come up with something a bit more exciting. Mm. I can't, I can't like remember anything now. Yeah, I think school in general was like a, a good memory. Yeah, sixth form especially though. Like, hundred percent. I think 100%. we had such a good time. I like, miss high school, man. It's like the whole like sixth form high school, like it was. Just... I think I preferred sixth form to high school. Yeah. I, yeah. I think in sixth form is when I made, like, the friends that I have now. 100%. Like, 100%. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Because people say, like, oh, uni is where you'll make the friends that stay with you forever. But I feel like sixth form no way. is where I made the friends that stay with me forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk to anyone from, from uni. I talk to people from uni, but only people I met, like, I became close with, like, in third year, innit? Yeah. Otherwise, first year, second year, they were a mess for me, fam. It's because oh, yeah. you weren't in. I didn't even hear what you said, bro. It's because you weren't in. Yeah, that's true. That's a, that's a good point. Um, I was hoping no one asked a question like that. Right. What do you say? Uh, Amy, you said you weren't in it. Sorry? You said you weren't in it. You said what? You Memories. said you weren't in it. Oh, mm, I, yeah, I might as well just go for the Dave Chappelle one, man. Yeah, I can't lie. That was a that was a good day, man. Yeah. First time I've seen Dave, Dave Chappelle. For me, not, not gonna lie, my answers are influenced by you because the first thing I thought of was school as well, sixth form. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got a question? <clears throat> All right, let me try to find a good one. I'm running out of good ones, man. I can't lie because. Do, do you want me to ask one where you eat? There was one. Someone said, favorite game console, uh, console game of all time. Like a video game, basically. Video game or console? Video game, video game. I read it wrong. Hit and run. Uh, Simpsons. Really? That's that's I your know. favorite of all time? Is that a or Modern Warfare 2? I was going to say Modern Warfare 2. Those two are up there for me, fam. I think Modern Warfare 2 was the peak. Because you know how people still play like multiplayer games, isn't it? Mm. Modern Warfare 2 was the peak for me. Like where you rush home and like all the mandem online, you go to Rust. And you play all play together. Hey, listen. Nowadays, I'm not trying to play with other people. Yeah. Rust yeah. or high rise? Oh, it depends. maybe high rise. It depends I used to what get you're a playing. Kills at the beginning. Sorry. It depends what you're playing. Like domination, you can't play on Rust, in it. It's got to be high rise. High rise. Yeah. You're just playing TDM or free for all in Rust, hundred percent. I think high rise was good because I used to get a couple kills straight away from the beginning. Like you just shoot through the window, in it. Oh, for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that was sick. Yeah, Russ was annoying. You know when someone got to the top straight away, yeah, they start like sniping you from the top. Yeah, get They're that attacking set down. <laughs> and Harris had that like that hidden place in it where the crane was assigned. Yeah, and you could shoot people through the window as well. There. Yeah, yeah. that was sick. Yeah. So now you know what I didn't really have the same experience because I got my um, like PS3 was my first console, um, mm. and I had to buy it myself. So I got it quite late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it quite late in it. So I think the game that I've banged out the most is probably Rainbow Six Siege. I think that is such a like such a sick game, and it's like I've played it recent. I have I, I have think... like a, a spin off question on that. Yeah. Yeah. So like this is more to do with like story games and it story mode games and stuff. Yeah. But is there a game 
that you wish you could forget all of all about and replay it for like fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah. What game Ghost would that be of for Tsushima. you? Oh, I haven't finished it yet, but I'm loving it so far. It's a very very good game. Like, have you finished it all the way through? Yeah, and the thing is, yeah, I don't I don't really like story games like that. I yeah. play. I'm very boring in it. I play literally just first person shooters, and that's it. Yeah. So for me to enjoy a story game, it's gotta be like very, very good. And that it goes to Tsushima is amazing. It's really good. It's really yeah. good. What about you? Amy? And they've got they've got a new um sorry to cut you, they've no, got a new right. update as well. They've got like a, a co-op mode as well. Is that the the online one, the the demons yeah. and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty sick. My brother plays it. I don't really play it, but my brother plays it. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a sick game. I like I like how it makes you feel like a samurai, the, like the music. Yeah, like, for real. Sometimes I just like go to nice places and take pictures, fam. I'm literally that's all yeah. I'm doing. You get in the mood. Yeah. Nice. I don't, I don't fast travel anyway. I just I ride to every everywhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Man, what game is this? Ghost, Ghost of, of Tsushima. Tsushima. I ain't never heard of that. Shit. Are you googling it? Google it. Google it. It's property. <laughs> I need to say battery, fam. <laughs> yeah, but Amy, what, what game? What game would you say like is a game that you would want to forget about and replay? I can't lie, yeah. I've never been like a big gamer, innit? Yeah. So I, I I don't even know, man. Like, I honestly don't know, bro. For me, it was. Have you, I don't know if you guys played Red Dead Redemption Two, but that game, like, nah. it was probably one of the best gaming experiences I've had in my life. Like, I honestly wish I could just forget all about it. Yeah, actually- like, just start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, he sent it. He sent the link. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be discreet, and then AV just blurted it out. <laughs> yeah, but Red Red Dead Redemption Two is the is the game that made me even think of that question. Like, I was thinking the other day, like if I could forget everything that happened in the game, and like just because you get so immersed that you think the character is you, and everything the character goes through, like you go through, well, obviously you don't actually, but like you, it feels like you are in it, and it's so weird, like. It's like based in the Wild West and you feel like a cowboy and shit. And there's cool things like as the time goes on in the game, your hair grows and you can get haircuts and shit like that. Like it feels like so natural, but it's, it's wavy, man. I recommend it. Mm. I've had a couple of people telling me to get it. Uh, yeah. I've, I've, I think, I've, I've, I've gone off gaming now. Like I hardly play. Yeah. Yeah. Today's the first day I bought my PlayStation into my room in like two months, you know. Because like, yeah. that's, yeah. that's what you, yeah, you're literally in quarantine for like six months. Yeah, it's because usually I have it in the, the the living room, isn't it? So they can watch yeah. like Netflix and Disney Plus and all that shit. It's basically a DVD player at this point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe you got you got a question for us. When lockdown's over, what's the first destination you're going to? Holiday, restaurant, gym? Um, I know for sure I'm going climbing. Like yeah, last year, yeah, not like well, yeah, last year technically, 2020. I started um, like indoor bouldering and honestly it's the best thing I've ever started doing like it's so, it's so sick man I love it so much you go to like, the one closest to ends or yeah 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 it's literally like down the road yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we used to bang that yeah what you used to go as well yeah come on so, bro you need to come man we yeah, to, come, we, come, we, come. Have to, we have to have like a, a titan talk bouldering episode we just Trust like me. take the camera oh, and start bouldering. We should I, have so I, much I, fun. I seen you though, like you like so. When I go there, I I do like the 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 white and spotty ones, obviously. Even <laughs> and then the, the black the, the black ones, ones are fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the black ones are fun. And then I see yeah. this guy here. Yeah, he does the ones that there's so there's holds that are like handles in it. You can hold them literally. Like you can put your arm around like a, like a mug or some shit. Yeah, handle. Yeah. And this guy does the ones that are, are shaped like titties. Like oh, they're always like a ball, and you have to hold it like this. You gotta have your whole hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My oh. hands are not my hands are not big enough for that. You know? I got lady hands. From that. You have, to have small hands, you know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I bet it must be making your wood feel bigger, like. Shut up, man. Nah, nothing. Nothing can help that situation. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. Oh yeah, we forgot, to... we forgot to say. By the way, these are the questions. These are our Instagram questions that where people had to show face, so they're they're being a bit more, oh, yeah. you know. They're being yeah, a bit more calm. Yeah, but later on, we got some anonymous questions where people went wild. So yeah, I got, I got, I got a couple of wild ones still. 
Uh, yeah, what about you lot? What's the first, what's the first place you'll go? I'm going on holiday. Where? Uh, your mum's house. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, you better tell her first. I don't think she knows about it. <laughs> I have to take my shoes off at the front of that. <laughs> oh man. Uh, honestly, I don't know about anywhere, man. I was supposed to go Southeast Asia last year in the summer. Yeah. Uh, locked off. I was gonna go there with my sister. Can I come? Yeah, come. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> Uh, I don't know actually. She wanted to go and then she asked me to come. So I was like, yeah, cool. You plan it and then I'll just come. Yeah. Um, I, was, I think it's definitely on my bucket list. Yeah. I want to go to Turkey, fam. Bro, Turkey's like, uh, it's like my second home, man. I love it so much. Everyone says that, you know. I want to go to Yeah, it's, it's so lit. For the airline. Yeah. Not for the airline. My, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm all right, but. Everyone says that, yeah, but I don't, I don't think anyone loves Turkey like Adam loves Turkey. Like this, guy got, this guy got a flat there, fam. Trust me. Um, my, you know what it is, yeah? It's because my sister got married there. And, like, the first time we went was for her wedding. And we spent, we spent about a month there. And, like, obviously when her kids were born, each time we'd go. So we've been there maybe, like, five, six, seven times. And, like, it got to a point where we saw all the main tourist attractions. <clears> but then... Like the trips afterwards, we just go out like on our ones, just exploring or whatever. And it's just, it's just so nice, man. Honestly, I love it. Where in, where in Turkey do they live? Like Istanbul. Or Istanbul. Well, they they lived there before. They don't live there anymore. But yeah, in Istanbul. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Istanbul's nice, man. I think my first yes. destination after after lockdown, there's there's two in it. Like internationally, for me, it has to be Bangladesh. And I want to go home, and like. You know, just exp- like, I've been seeing too many videos of people going back to their home country, it's kind of making me jealous. Yeah, so it's because your visa ran out. <laughs> I don't need a visa to go to my. I got dual citizenship. Bro. You got dual citizenship? Here? Yeah, yeah. As in, because in Bangladesh, yeah, basically, if if your parents are from there, you have dual citizenship. Oh. And like, if you lose that dual citizenship, like, you just need to like, you have to keep your parents' birth certificate with you, and it's like proof of like someone who lived there or grew up there kind of thing but yeah quite sick yeah um and i think domestically i'm not gonna lie this kind of gonna sound kind of like weird in it yeah but i miss going shisha i can't lie and just like seeing the man talk, talk <laughs> i to knew him. you were gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> this guy has a nitty man <laughs> not 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 even not even for the for the shisha in it just to yeah, like yeah, sit yeah. and just chill with everyone in it. for the vibes yeah yeah, yeah yeah and like i guess following along that as well i can't wait for like i hope this is all done by Ramadan, so we can have iftar at my house and all the money can come through. Yeah. Because if, if it all clears up just before then, I feel like that that iftar will bang, like, no iftar has banged It'd before. be good, man. Because we missed last year, innit? Yeah. Like, but, you know how upset I was? I, like, yeah. you, I don't think you understand. I was really upset when you told me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know when I made that video, yeah, it was getting, like, loads of likes and shit, yeah? I think you got yeah. to, like, I think you went up to 90k views, in it, Like, 90,000 people watched in it. And yeah. then, uh, it was, it wasn't that sad at the first when I made the video. I did feel like a little bit sad in it. Yeah. And seeing all these people in the comments being like, oh my God, this is so sad. And I was like, it is sad, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's proper sad, man. How many years did we do? We did like four or five years, right? Six years, bro. Yeah. Six? Yeah. Damn, bro. As yeah, in this, last year would have Last year would have been our sixth year. Yeah. Yeah. But the other the other thing is like, what, what I did like about that though, like, you know, when we made that video and we put it out, I liked how like, there was loads of like six formers and high schoolers, yeah? And they were like, yo, we should do this. And they were like, yeah, let's start doing this good. every year. I was like, yo, that's so sick. Like, people yeah, were looking man. at what we did and like, and then starting traditions. Yeah. But yeah, that would be. It's not what we did, it's what you did. No, no, what we did, innit? Mm. Like, we, we didn't organize it. Yeah, but like, all credit first... to him and his family, man. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, you can get beat up. Let's go. My bad. That's calm. It's calm. Um, what's something you want to accomplish in 2021? I don't know if I can uh, say what I want, you know. Bro, do you know what I want? Yeah. So mm. I went to uni and I got my degree. Mm. And I'm very, very thankful I didn't pay for my uni because it was a NHS funded course, right? Yeah. So the NHS funded my course 
they even paid me to go to uni and now they're not giving me a bloody job right so i just want a job in 2021 that's what i want right like a, <laughs> I like want a degree a job, related job a degree related job so i can start my flipping career that's what i want like they went to all that effort spent all that money and they're not doing anything with it what did so you get dumb man sorry what did you get a degree uh radiotherapy jeez i was gonna yeah, be touching man. up people's legs I mean, that's physio for a period yeah sorry, it's sorry, worse sorry. than that <laughs> radiotherapy is worse than that bro i'm touching all sorts <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all for a good cause man all for a good cause yeah definitely yeah what about, what about you ab what was the question? What What do you want to achieve in 2020? Accomplish in 2020? I don't know if I could say what I want to accomplish, man. But when I accomplish it, I will say it. Okay. But I'll probably Clearly, say, man of mystery. I don't know. Just reaching like I want to reach more countries on a time put a time talk podcast. Uh, you know when you know when you say like oh I can't say it yeah it just sounds like to me you, like you're folding from. You, you ain't got nothing. You got no aspirations and dreams. You can't. You got nothing to tell. Nah, that's definitely not the case. Trust <laughs> <I'll check. laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to provoke you, bro. What you think, my some school kid, fam? Yeah, <laughs> you trying to break it to six forms. You're still doing your GCSEs, <laughs> bro. You done your GCSEs four times, man. Shut up. No, I didn't. You did. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Laskin did. <laughs> What the hell? He's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's drop the next question. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, what color is AB's favorite dildo? <laughs> I, had, I have sources that was asked by a member of the cast. Uh, who? who, 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 who? <laughs> <laughs> You got ass or titties, fam. The amount of times, fam. The amount of times. Bro, this guy says, Oh, we got ass or titties. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first, very first question we got on on the poll, yeah, was ABs asking ass or titties. No, that was <laughs> that was on your one. On your oh, my, my Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. What advice would you give to your younger self? I got I got uh, good advice. Huh? My advice would be that like Whatever happens, nothing really matters. Like, you'll be okay. Like, even if you fuck up, just try new things. And at the end of the day, you'll still be okay. Because I feel like I grew up quite, like, self-conscious about, like, things going wrong. And it stopped me from taking risks and taking chances. Do you know what I mean? So I would just say, just remember, whatever you do, you'll be okay. So just try things out and do, like, live your life. Yeah. Uh, young, younger Kyojin, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think mine's, like... Mine's similar, you know, because I was literally, as you were saying that, I was thinking like when I was younger, I was pretty self-conscious. So I think the main message would be like, don't care what people think in it. Mm. Like, just do you, live your life, do what makes you happy. And that's it, man. Do you know what I mean? Because I think I I realized, I had that realization like uh, probably like after sixth form, like maybe, like because I took a gap for after sixth form. And then that's when I really like, that I, I I took on that mentality. I just I don't care what people think. Like I'm just doing doing what I'm doing. You gotta yeah. stick, gotta have tunnel vision, from Yeah, for real. And that's 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 so, like just going off of that as well. Yeah. Something else I would tell my younger self is that like, you know, if you feel self conscious, yeah, all these people that look like they got it together, you know, they also go through. They also have the same thoughts as you. Yeah. And yeah. at the end of the day, it's not that deep. Like Adam, you were just saying there, like you're quite self conscious growing up. Yeah. I would have never yeah. guessed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's that's one of the things where like you can look at confident people and like just realize that they're kind of in the same position as you. But at the at the end of the day, it doesn't matter like how they see you. You know, you just fake yeah. it till you make it kind of thing as well. Hundred percent. No, it's true. Yeah. Go by you, AB. We should have a man of therapy session. You know, face to face one, not on a Zoom because like it's not the same. But you want to hold hands or something, bro? Sit in a circle. You can hold my wood. Gotta get out of <laughs> uh, what was the question? What advice would uh, you give oh, to younger yeah. AB? Not to fucking eat because I was a fat bastard. I'm still a fat bastard. Were so. you? I don't remember you being fat. <laughs> Me? Yeah. 
Bro, you did a no man fam. Bro. So he's talking about young. Uh, oh, young. you're talking about young young. Young young. Oh, okay, okay. He's talking about, he's talking about chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. That's, cha- that's chaos, but with a KH. That's gonna have to be. That's gonna have to be. What chaos? <laughs> <laughs> Flexing. Yeah. Now go on. No, that's probably it? It, man. not to eat, not start exercising, fam. Not to eat too much, fam. But I can't like being fat. Yeah, gave me mm. jobs. Like I had to, cause I was, like being fat, man will try to bully you and that. But cause yeah. I. Know, like it just never ran. You, bro, you were you were fat for like five seconds, man. Come off it. No, no, I weren't. You, you weren't fat long enough to go through that personality change, yeah. You just had it naturally, okay. This no. guy came into high school with like a chiseled face. No, he had no. the you know the the no. half up, half down fringe and shit like that. You know all the Asian boys had the spike yeah, with the with no, the no. fringe. And that. <laughs> every, like every person that I grew up with watching this would would know that I was not fat for five seconds, man. Trust me. Bro, from, from the ages like zero to ten, yeah, that's five seconds, bro. That ain't nothing. No, trust me, man. It didn't feel like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know, man. I don't know what I told my younger self, man. I can't lie. Probably the same as you guys. Like, that was going to be all right, innit? Just, mm. like, whatever, like, whatever any situation is that is not, it's temporary. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good or bad. Yeah. So, yeah, man. If if we if we're all being honest, like if we could speak to like young young ourselves, yeah, we told them, bro, come like start training now, become a footballer, like yeah. Project Mbappe. Like, you just give them all the blueprint, be like, yo, this is what you got to do. Buy Bitcoin, buy Tesla <laughs> stocks, yeah, all of that. <laughs> Lottery in, numbers, in, in, invent random shit. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Someone said, "What are your personality types?" I don't know if you guys have done the personality test before. Whoop. Nope. No. So it's just me. I'm, I'm an INFP. It's like a, a mediator or something like that. If you don't know what that is, just like, guys, Google it at home. Okay, uh, so, yeah. Kyojin, having done the test, what do you think me and AB are? Oh, oh. There's, there's a thing. There's a like question, a... Oh, I, don't have, I don't have them all memorized in it. But let me let me yeah. search up the, the different types in it. Because I'll be then I'll be able to put you in categories. I think AB is definitely... I think there's one called the uh, protagonist. <laughs> What's that? It's pro- mm, actually, no. It says it says righteous spokesperson. I think he's a spokesperson, but I don't know about righteous. I am righteous. <laughs> um, it's hard in it because I don't have like the I don't have what they actually are like mm. in detail in it. But if I if I I'll probably go with protagonist for AB. Um, that's good, isn't it? Because I swear the bad one is the antagonist. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I was expecting hey. expecting an answer from you. You're the hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just what I'll it'll probably be between like the architect. Um. So I, it says brilliant brain, and cheese. Uh, what you give me? Yeah, some yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And and the advocate, which one, which says um, genius in a closet. I, I don't know if that means you're gay or something, but yeah, it just says genius in a closet. Wait, did you like the kid? <laughs> I thought he was thinking. <laughs> um, the big brain, but also the, join with the advocate, which is genius in a closet. So I don't know if that means you're gay, but yeah. Well, it means <laughs> I'm a genius, at least. Well, you know I mean? next question, then... please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a question, AB. <laughs> Shall I ask the question while you're looking? Yeah. All um, right. Someone said, "Uh, last last meal on death row." Boy, <sighs> bro, that's, that's difficult, man. Um, Pepe's. Pepe. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> That's like after <laughs> football trash food, isn't it? It's not real food. I, I ordered Pepe's to my house, you know. I quite like it. I ordered Pepe's the other day still. I can't know. Bro, it makes me shit so bad. <laughs> like, I like the taste, but I, I, must, I don't know. My stomach can't hack it. So, uh, so it is, it's, it's, it's your half white side coming out. Just yeah, like, trust bro, me. Relaxing Fighting spice. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, last meal. That's really difficult. Um, it'd just be like, I feel like it'd just be like a spread of Pakistani food. Mm. And that's it. Because I, I think Pakistani food, like Indian slash Pakistani food is the best cuisine, like full stop. I would have to disagree, but it's okay. Shout, shout, shout out some names. Wait, what do you mean? As in names of dishes? Yeah. Or well, biryani, us. obviously. That's like of course. I, I got, one of the I, best. I got a question for you, Adam, yeah? Yeah. Is it acceptable, uh, is it acceptable sorry, to yeah. put ketchup on your biryani? No. Ketchup dis- and rice? No, it does not mix. I disagree. I disagree. Listen, ketchup is for chips and that's it. So what about, what about chili sauce in biryani? No, no sauces, man. It's it's got come the flavor on, there already. No, that's on, the that's dude. the whole point of biryani, bro. The, it's that the it's sauce is, rice, the sauce it? is like a cha- life changer. Yeah. No, nah, man. So so when you get when you get biryani from the mosque, yeah, you don't put that yeah. like the the coleslaw sauce on it. No, but that's different. That's chutney in it. That's not sauce. Yeah. That's not like ketchup or chili sauce. But, th- but then they give you the chili sauce as well. You don't put that on top. No, but again, that's like chili chutney in it. It's not like. It's, when you say chili sauce, I'm thinking of like, like from a bottle, West, isn't it? West Indians, that one, the West, the one with the West Indian. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. None of that. Yeah. None of that. Like actual, no, no. like Indian Pakistani chili chutney or like that yogurt chutney. Yeah, that's cool, but nothing else, man. I disagree. I disagree. Ketchup and biryani is calm. Yeah, man. This brother fell asleep. What the hell? No, I'm still here. <laughs> hey, Kildren, I saw you eat dal and biryani though. Nah, what? Yeah. As in, like, did you hear that was a Bengali thing? Because I, I never. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Oh, well, I did hear that. <laughs> I, I've never heard that in my life. Darling so, Biryani, fam. No, oh, no. Shit. No, I did hear that. That, that Bengali is Darling Biryani. That's <laughs> the first I'm hearing. I'm it might have just been someone taking a piss, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's something I've heard. <laughs> AB, but AB you, said, you, said, you said you disagree that uh, Indian food is elite. Why? What's, what's, your, um, what's your alternative? Well, I can't, I can't really hold on my, uh, my ethnicity. Shut oh, up, yeah, guy's no, Sri fan. Bro, that's like, that's included. It's similar. Okay, I'm going to say, I'll we've say like South, South Asian. South, Indian, South Asian, yeah, yeah. yeah. South we've Asian. different like sort of, sort of stuff from that. It's not really. Mutton roll, yeah. Mutton roll bangs. I think yeah, that's that like, kotu. that's top tier, top tier. Come on, cuz. Uh, I've not really had any other like, uh, I'm kind of food to be honest. I'm bossy on some stuff, fam. Yeah, come, I'm down, I'm down. I, yeah, it's, it's pain. Uh, what, what would you say then, AB? Your, like, last meal on death row? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say this, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, but that's, that's, that's answered, like, 50 of the next questions. <laughs> so we don't need to read any of them. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh... Yeah, probably some South Asian food, fam. I thought you could say, yeah, probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, some South Asian food, fam. Yeah, for me, it would be my, my dad's biryani, in it Because he oh. makes it on special occasions. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I was going to ask, you know, when we come uh, for iftar at your house? Yeah. Did your dad make that rice as well? He, yeah, he makes the mm, the biryani with the meat that, in it and I think the vegetarian that lamp, one. That lamb pilau, innit? That yeah. Yeah. It's, some, yeah, it's something that. in Bengali called ahni. I don't oh, know okay. what the English is. It's called Acne. Acne. <laughs> that's it. Acne. What the hell is Acne, bro? So, you said so that's... <laughs> You're scared, bro. That's what I heard, bro. Oh, you need to man. fix your earring, bro. My earring? <laughs> your hearing, bro. You can't hear. You can't speak. Shut up. Right, I got a good question, yeah? It says... Yeah. Uh, to be honest, they asked a certain question, I'm gonna, but I'm going to spin it a little bit for a second part in it. So they ask, can guys and girls really stay best friends? But do you, you know, a lot of times, men don't think guys and girls can't be friends. What do you guys think? I think they can. Maybe. Why not? I think they can if they're both clapped. <laughs> what about what about best friends, like close friends? <laughs> nah. Uh, um. Yeah. I feel like you just got to be mature about it, isn't it? Wait, yeah. have you man got a, a girl friend? As in, like a friend that's close to you, that's a girl. Yeah, a few. 
It depends how close. Because you're. I, I would, I'd, I'd, I'd probably say no. Yeah, same. I haven't got. I got. I got quite a few. I'd say. It's because you're. Def- let me yeah, let me yeah. tell you. I, I feel like I got quite a deep take on this year, but it's kind of mad because you know you see how, obviously, um, I feel like it's a it's a very bad mindset to have, mm. or like a general idea to have that girls and guys can't be friends here. Because you know you know you're growing up in school and stuff here, yeah, and people always say that like oh guys and girls can't be friends here, yeah. and then you yeah. get people, and I know we all know these kind of people. And I, we all know the people that would be like oh if you're talking to if like let's say AB is talking to a girl yeah they'll be like, oh, why are you chatting to her if you're not attracted to her? Or like, why are you chatting to her if you're not trying to, like, do something with her? Like, that, yeah. No, not you. I said, if you was with a girl and then somebody came up to you and said, like, <laughs> all that stuff in it. So, like, you you obviously know that you're just friends with a girl, yeah. But I'm saying, like, for, for like, let's say from a neutral point of view, if somebody keeps hearing their whole life, like, oh, guys and girls can't be friends, guys and girls can't be friends, yeah. The guy, like, let's say a girl is talking to him, like, as a friend, and they get close and they get to know each other and stuff, yeah. The guy's gonna be thinking she's getting to know me for a certain reason, isn't it? Like, you know, like you know what I mean by a certain reason, isn't it? Yeah. Because um, that's the idea that's been put into his head all the time. So when they when they hang out all together by the like by themselves, then obviously he, it's gonna get uncomfortable because he's gonna make moves where she never saw it like that. So I feel yeah. like the idea of like oh guys and girls can't be friends is very dangerous, isn't it? For like younger people. And, uh, I think I think they can, but. Like when it gets to the point where like one of them's in a serious relationship or one of them's married, then I think that's got to stop. That's why I say no. Yeah, because if like if I was married and my wife had a guy best friend, I was bro, burn that man. And if really? if I had a girl best friend, I, like I wouldn't blame her for being angry in it. So I I I don't think it can run if you're in. A I, I I used to like think that. that you know. I used to think that until until I got friends who were like girls that are close to me. Because I was thinking to myself, yeah, if I actually deep it, when I get married, yeah. am I just am I just gonna send them a text like, yo, I can't chat to you no more? No, but the thing is, I don't mean like um like work colleague, like friends from work or like stuff like that. Like of course, like you know, I'd still talk to people, but like when you're talking about like best friends, like going out together, going to pe- going to each other's houses, no, that can't run. Like for me. Uh-huh. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the thing is, I agree like to a certain extent in it, but I yeah. also think like that's kind of weird. Like you lose a friend just because you got married, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So the thing is, like people are naturally jealous, and like humans are naturally jealous. So I think it safeguards against any issues in the future. Like, because knowing me, I know it would get to a point in the future where I'd get jealous of the amount of time they're spending with their guy best friend or the amount of attention they're getting from their guy best friend. And I imagine they would probably have the same issue with me. So I think just cut it, like nip it in the bud, innit? Yeah. There's no need to op- open yourself up to problems in the future. It's easier for me and, and Adam here to say no, nah, because we ain't got female bridges. Yeah, that's, 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 what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I, I also thought that <laughs> way before, and if that makes sense. I only got yeah. one female bridging, and she's basically a tomboy. She's basically what? That's- Basically, a tomboy fam. Yeah, she listens oh. to everything that man listens to. She watches yeah. a proper football head. She watches more football than me, fam. Uh, that's not that hard, you know. That's true, still. No, but that's that's how like I I had that I thought that way before as well. Then I realized like am I also, am I actually gonna cut all these people off that I, like I, I enjoy their company and stuff here. Yeah? And the way I yeah. deep it as well, yeah, is let's say I got married, yeah. Would I cut all you you three off? Because my wife said what? I don't she want me to see you guys anymore. But we're not... it's different. That's no, different, but, man. But but deep it this way, yeah. Why is it different? Because we're not attracted to each other, right? I'm attracted. Yeah, to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like, man. <laughs> no, but like in, in, in all seriousness, that's that's why it's different in it because there's, there's no, nah. we're attracted to each other. But the thing is, no, nah, but it, naturally, like you're attracted to the opposite sex in it. Like but, you, you can't I, do anything to help that. Even if you don't find someone attractive. If you spend enough time with someone, I think you can become attracted to them easily. No, nah, I don't. I don't think so. But it's just going on natural instinct. I, I, I think for me personally, I, I, I just know that I'm not attracted to them, so then it wouldn't be an issue for me, innit? Yeah, no, but the thing is, you're talking, you're talking about looks. You can be attracted to someone's personality. No, but I can, I, I, I can see someone's personality as like that's mandem. Do you know what I mean? But that's my friend. Yeah, you can be attracted. So you would. I think you were just talking about looks, like, oh, I'm not attracted to my girl best friend's looks. But I'm not, attra- I'm not attracted, attracted to their personality, to their though, either. No, but, but that's what I'm saying. If you spend enough time with someone, I think you can develop to be attracted to their personality on, on a higher level. 
I don't I don't think because the way I see it is I've been friends with them for a long time. Most of them like at least two years, yeah. And mm. if I if it hasn't happened by the end of my life for me, it would never happen. Like if it hasn't happened by the first, like let's say three months, it would never happen for me. Do you know what I mean? Like I would yeah. never see them in a, in a different way. I guess like 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 AB said though, innit? It's it's easier for us two to say no because we're not in your position. Yeah. 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 And if true. I if I knew who you were talking about, like the girl best friends you were talking about. I yeah. maybe could have a have have an opinion on it, but obviously I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. No, I don't think you know them. They're from like uni and stuff. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So it'd be hard for me to say like, yeah, now nah, you could definitely be attracted to them or not. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. All right, cool. We got we got a late addiction. Uh, well, addiction. 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 <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo. <laughs> no wonder he could. It's because. <laughs> I was about to say big sexy as well after that as well, but now I can't, I can't, I can't even be saying that stuff. They <laughs> <laughs> got, la- la- Go got a landlord here looking bare cute, fam. I can't even say that now as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I can't make any sauce jokes now. Oh, damn it. Yo, landlord, what are you saying, man? He's got to be extra manly now. What are we saying, <laughs> Lalo? <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we should go straight to the next question. Moving on to... <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Well, yes. He's no. posting like a model, you know? Huh? Yeah. Maybe he's posting like... You know, <laughs> well, yeah. I want to do like this. Oh, look at my eyes. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, someone said... A B, do you lick the bum hole? Bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but not even close. Uh um someone said, How did you guys meet? It's kind of boring. We all met at school. School. Yeah. I met uh Ardem at a place called London Tigers. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Technically we, we still went to the same school, but like we met at football rather than school. Yeah, cause I'm a year younger than these guys, isn't it? So yeah, like we came, we became close in sixth form. But yeah, yeah. it's true. I did meet Kyojin at yeah. some like some dodgy football place. <laughs> we used to, we used to play three, two three pounds, pounds a session, didn't it? Yeah. To play in the park. <laughs> the worst oh thing is you God. expect, oh yeah, because you bring the money. There's gonna be like goalposts this year. It's our jumpers, fam. Uh, the the goalposts were our jumpers. Yeah. That was proper. Oh, you though, you know. I can't remember where I was driving, but I saw like a massive billboard for London Tigers. London Tigers, yeah, like their official yeah. team. It's like big, yeah. like they actually play in a stadium, yeah, like a mini stadium. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, but like for us, they were just like <laughs> use, we had like the Wembley Market version of uh, yeah. London Tigers fam. That was shambolic, man. Yeah, I think. And them times, me, them times, I was terrible at football. <laughs> I was so bad. And now he's coming like one young, young Gareth Bell fam. Come run on, to the man. byline, finish. In top, bottom yeah, corner. yeah. I think for me and uh, landlord, we met in like. Oh, I think it was where we used to like compete to get the lowest grade in in the class. <laughs> yeah, I think I won. Like I definitely got the lowest, but Kyojin was definitely. Like, can't mm. remember what year was it. Year eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it might have been as well. You know, like year seven. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Lando, do you know we used to, we used to have MSN in it, and this guy used to have his DP, the Tweety bird with the Pakistani flag. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the tweet. Tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I remember. I, rem- I remember. I remember. Like we will we'll take the name out in it, but Hader used to put every like person into like these massive group chats in it, and all the girls <clears> is like, why, why do you keep adding me and stuff? And I think that's how we we met like online, and then obviously we met in real life and all. <clears throat> we had hella mutuals in year seven anyway. So yeah. yeah. What's that thing? Soa. Yeah, yeah sure. you man. <laughs> well done, camera. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think if we told them what SOA means, like yeah, with Ar- Ardem and Landlord's backgrounds. <laughs> um, and then obviously AB came the late edition to the Mandem. Yeah, but we went through that last week, innit? So I want to ask, what uh, what is your guilty pleasure? Wait, what? Does that mean like what you like listen to or what does that mean? Like an interest that you have that you don't really talk about in front of the man there. I like getting my arse eaten. 
Yeah, I was going to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly now it's not a guilty pleasure. Both of you do it, fam. You might as well just go yeah, together. It's just pleasure, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, Don't you feel like we're we're kind of too old for guilty pleasures? That like we're kind of secure in what we do. Yeah. Like I'm not ashamed of anything, man. Yeah. I don't do anything. That's I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a... That's what I'm saying. I feel like everything I do is normal. Yeah. I think when it comes to music, I l- listen to a lot of music that I don't that the man them don't listen to. But I'm not guilty about it. Like I don't really care, innit? Like mm. there's, there's music I listen to and enjoy, and there's music I enjoy with the Mandavis. This is different, innit? Yeah. I think that's a very cliche question, to be honest. Made in Chelsea, actually. Made in Chelsea used to be my great pleasure, fam. Because the acting on that was terrible and it used to be so funny. Mm. Yeah, so like reality shows kind of like a great pleasure, a little bit. Love Island, all that. Um, but but then again, everyone watches them. Yeah, Love Island is not a gay pleasure yeah. anymore. So yeah, guys, I guess the answer is stop being guilty for things that you enjoy. Exactly, man. Be proud of what proud of what you do. Proud of what you enjoy. Oh, one thing, one physical thing that you change by yourself, and don't say, it. yeah. That's a very good question. Uh, thank you. I asked it. So much again. Yeah, she um, I'd say yeah. I want a fuller beard. Oh, that's good like one. my my white side is like clawing back at my beard, and I just want it to grow. So, so. what's my excuse? I'm fully brown, bro. <laughs> I, I don't have that excuse. <laughs> There's no white in me. <laughs> yeah, bro. You, you should see. You should have seen my like old pictures of my dad. Like his beard is like massive. Yeah. And I don't know why I can't re- I can't achieve that. Yeah, same. My dad's got like a ten ten beard, and it's just like, yeah, your dad's he, beard is sick. He passed on his shortness to me, but like the beard, clearly <laughs> not. What about you guys? What What is one thing you change about yourself physically? Yeah, shout out to your dad, Arden. Though. Like a Pakistani like, man, wife and a white girl. Like that's goals right there. I'm trying to. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'd love to be like that. Do you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna get like files of the brown girl saying like, "Bro, why are you internalizing yeah. racism? Why you're are you saying get, we made it?" You're gonna get cancelled. Okay, I'll marry anything. Except I said anything, not even anyone. <laughs> Dog, cat, anyway, it doesn't matter. Anything. <laughs> I don't discriminate. All right, landlord, landlord. What is what is one physical thing that you would change by yourself? Um, what do you mean physically though? Like just something like it could be like I don't know your hair, your arms, legs, anything. Nothing. Like a... No, I don't, I don't. I don't care about that shit. Nah, that's cheating, man. You gotta say something. No, nothing, man. I don't really. No, I wouldn't want to change anything. That's a good answer, you know. That's a good answer. Yeah. Like, why would I want to change something or like make myself look better? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way I am. Please. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more AB One thing that you Change about yourself Physically Nah I'd reduce My cock length like, so no. <laughs> uh, I expect nothing less From you man <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be My one man <laughs> That's fine it's getting, it's getting boring Like tough in Go on AB Honestly, I, I would have changed nothing, you know. I'll be honest. Really? Yeah. What about the um the uh, cross-eyed thing? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> you know, this is actually like, it was a it was a fake cost fab. <laughs> it, it's it's cause no one could find anything <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So the, the, I came in and I was I came into Kingsbury and I was grilling everyone, but not me <laughs> about. Because obviously there was no backstory in it. Yeah. Then this one, uh, I'm going to put this one, one fucking bastard. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're constantly, you know. And uh, bro, I step into <laughs> screaming it, fam. Yeah, that's that's stuck to this day. <laughs> He's a prick. I'd probably change my height, not going to lie. I would be taller. You yeah, know, but... yeah. I don't get the obsession with that. As like, in, I would I wouldn't change it, but if what, if I had to choose something, I would that would be the thing I would change. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm happy how I am, yeah. But if I had to choose something, it would be my height. But I go on. 
like the obsession with height. I, I think it's, you, it's a Twitter thing. You're not, yeah, it is, but you're not even short though. I'm five nine, isn't it? so like, yeah. No, but I'd say we're similarly, we're similarly, similarly, we're similar in height. Yeah, bro. I remember you used to be so small, yeah. And then this guy just shot up out of nowhere, fam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably, actually, like being honest, yeah, probably one thing I would change is probably like my metabolism in it. If I could like eat and not put on so much weight, that would be great. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. I relate. I'm the opposite. I wish I could eat and put on weight. Mm, same. It's so difficult, yeah. man. I guess. I guess we both. Want, we both. All three of us want things that each other has in it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, similar similar question. One personality change you would, one personality trait you would change about yourself. Ooh, I'd be less shy. Like, I agree. Crazy. Yeah. Um, As in, you know, before when I was saying like, oh, I would tell my younger self to like just do things and worry about the consequences later because it doesn't really matter. I feel like I would want for me to have like unlearn all that that self consciousness by now and it, and not be self conscious. I just do things. Because who cares, mm-hmm. man? I don't know, man. The thing is, if I don't say anything, it means I think I've got a banging personality, but that's a bit vain, isn't it? That's okay. No, that wasn't really. uh, Maybe the one thing that you want to change yeah. is stop being so vain. You know what? I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> 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 The fact that you picked not being so vain just means you're so <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. AB, what would but you yeah, no, that's, that's, so, that's a difficult question, man. I don't know. What's this reaction thing? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> How do I stop it? Then? It's for class, isn't it? <laughs> I'll say, you know, man, I need a Zoom. <clears throat> What's his reaction thing? Um, the pettiest Fish. thing that you've ever done. Uh, I I think I do this a lot, uh, not a lot because I'm not in this situation a lot. But if um, like I, if I'm having an argument with someone over text, or if I don't like someone and they text me and they misspell something, I'll <laughs> correct their spelling. Oh, like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go through the whole thing and I'll just correct. I do that. I do that. Still, so. it just this makes you feel just so reminds good. Reminds me of like, <laughs> reminds me of like the Dawa Daily Times, fam. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Any debate, yeah. If if you just it, they don't even have to be wrong. Like if you just don't like them, their spelling is such spelling. an easy thing to do. Yeah, come like one grammar Nazi fam. Yeah, I think one one time like uh my my dad was having like a, a meeting in the house in the house in it for his charity and there was bare like random men at my house in it like obviously like a council meeting shit in it and I was hella young and there was there was like guys like men like smoking in like my our computer room in it. Where me and my sister wanted to play in it, and they were just smoking down there, and then we were like, "What are they doing? Like smoking?" First of all, in the house, and also we want to go play in it. We must be hella young, yeah. So that's my sister. Go get like the dirty laundry from the un- like the underwear <laughs> section in it, yeah. So he bought a basket of like dirty underwear, yeah, and just threw at them like through the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really, we didn't get in trouble for it because they just laughed it off. But like we threw like dirty boxes and knickers at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the strangest thing you believed as a child. I used to believe yeah that every country was a different planet, fam. What? <laughs> I swear, I'm so tapped, fam. Can we explain that. Like, what do, what do you mean? So say like yeah. So I remember someone asked me like, yo. What would you do if if um if this if Earth ended, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'd go to another country. But in my head, I'm just <laughs> cut out to another, another planet. Yeah. Damn. This guy took Eurocentrism to a next level, you know. <laughs> the Earth is the England, that's the planet. It's probably why I had to retake GCC ten times. <laughs> you know what, you know when I was younger, yeah? I was like in primary school, it was like, yeah, five times, isn't it? Um, you know when they when they put like the boys in one class and the girls in one class in it, and the, they show you like a video on puberty and stuff like that and all like they they show like all the body parts on the screen and shit. 
Mm. And you learned about sex education, it. I remember I was with like uh, one of the white kids in it. I was sitting at a table, and we were learning about like reproduction and stuff in it. And, he, and I was like, you know, that's haram. Like Muslim parents don't do that. So like, and he's like, what do you mean? Like, you know, your parents, they had to do it to for you to be here. I'm like, no, bro, wait, shut up, man. My parents will never do that. They're Muslim. Don't ever say that again. That's disrespectful. Yeah. And then like he asked the teacher, yeah. <laughs> the teacher's like, Kyoji, what do you think? Uh, oh, how, how do you think you? <laughs> His man said his name and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> the, the teacher's like, how do you think you were born? Yeah. And this is what I explained to her. Yeah? I was like, I was like, you know, when you get married, you make dua, you say to Allah, please give me a baby. And then in nine months, Allah puts a baby in your stomach. And that's how you're born. Yeah. That's how, at least I genuinely thought like, I thought like um, sex was just something like haram. And like to get a baby, you make dua, and that's it. Now you're a freak. No, no, I'm still making dua, but it clearly hasn't worked. You're sex addict. <laughs> <laughs> and baby moms. <laughs> what about you guys? What was the craziest thing um, you did as a kid? Do you feel like as brown people, there was a lot of, especially like brown Muslims, yeah, there's loads of like superstitions that like culturally people have? Uh, like, I don't know I if you guys really... had the one where you could, like, you know, when you walk over someone and then that person's going to be short and nah. you, have to, you, have to walk, <laughs> you have to walk back over there with your eyes closed so that they don't, they don't grow up short. I've never heard of that one. No. I think it's a Bengali thing. I remember, yeah, there was like a thing where if you walk over free drinks, it would give you bad luck. Is it? What? Yeah. I just remember, like, step on a crack, you break your mama's back. Huh? You know where they used to say like step on a crack and you break your mama's back in American movies. What about yeah. underneath a ladder and all of that? Yeah. So you know, you know that oh. step on a crack when you break your mama's crack uh, back here. Yeah? Every time I used to get used to, I used to walk outside and step on all the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Jump on it and that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Next I, question. Oh, you got you yeah. on? No, no, I can't think of anything. Um, the last book you read. It's got to be a book I read. for uni, <laughs> innit? Yeah, I don't really read. You know, AB, you still got my Game of Thrones, you know? No, I don't. Yeah, you do, fam. You know what, actually? Like, two years ago, in a Black Friday thing, I bought, mm. like, a full box set of Game of Thrones books. I haven't touched it at all. Same. I don't I even know where it is. It. I feel like um, I'm more of, like, a book collector than a book reader, you know? I just buy the yeah. box sets and buy the books and put them on my shelf and that's it. Bruv. Man went through a whole uni. Ask me if I finished one book, fam. <laughs> no, but you, you know, uni times here, you know, the books that you read, don't you just read yeah. the like the abstract or the like blurb and then random pages for information that you need? Nobody reads a book like cover to cover. Yeah, I, to be honest, I didn't really, I didn't really read any book. I, like, if I was doing a project, I'd need to look at a specific part of a particular book. I'd look at that, but that's it. I would never read a book like you said. You That's know, at some some points in uni, yeah, when I when I referenced a book or, or a study, I would like make up what the study said just to fit my narrative. <laughs> like it would be like, let's say, um, Smith et al. And I would just make it up as long as it fits my narrative. And I'll just pray that the professor wouldn't read it. Yeah, I did that in A-level philosophy, not going to lie. I just made up like Bible quotes, Quran quotes, everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> Trust me. That's coming like Zack and Nike, you know. Hey, bang, though. Verse I got 55, line 9. I got 100 UMS in one of my exams. Jeez, I heard philosophy is better as well. Bro, it's like, it's a 50-50 split in it. Like, half of it is so easy. I think the ethics part is proper, proper easy. The, yeah. Some of the philosophy stuff is just pointless, like crap. It's, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend any young, any young listeners, I wouldn't recommend you take it. It's a waste of time. Don't go to school. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like AB, go to school for like 25 years, fam. <laughs> <laughs> and then start a podcast. <laughs> I, I'm not even 25 yet myself. <laughs> um, so this is a two-part question, yeah? Mm. So something you're gifted at, you feel you're gifted at. Hello? What's up? Like if, something you feel you're gifted at or talented at, that like you're good at. Nothing. Um, useless. 
<laughs> that is so sad, fam. Get out of here, man. That's not that's not even true. I'd say I found out recently that I'm pretty good at climbing. Like yeah. I think for my for how recently I started, I think I've I've um like progressed quite a bit. Because I've got a friend who I go with, and he's been I don't know how long he's been climbing, but he's been climbing a lot longer than me, like probably like one or two years longer. And I'd say we're probably at the same level now. Uh, I think damn. yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah, because I've seen I've seen your videos and you're like I'd say you're better than some of the people that I've been going with who've been going for time in it. I'm shit. Yeah. But some of my friends are good, but like I'll say you're po- past their level or on their level, but probably past. Listen, their guys, level. the the link to my Instagram will be in the description if you want to see <laughs> climbing videos. Yeah, Come <laughs> hit that hit that follow button. <laughs> You know how Lionel wasn't say, saying that he's not good at anything. I'll tell you, quite good at like driving dangerously and scaring the oh, shit you know, out of you. The worst thing is, oh, I was just about to say that as well. I was like, if you put me, in a <laughs> car, put me in a, put me in a street race, put me in a quad bike, I'll, I'll be. That's on the a skill, though. That's there. a skill. Yeah. Like, so, I'm sure AB can vouch as well. He's, he's really seen. Like, I can vouch that hundred times, fam. Man's been in the drive. Man's been in the passenger seat and see man win races, fam. <laughs> <laughs> in the car that he's not supposed it's, to win, by the way. Yeah, I see. I think that's a talent still. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah. Fam, Lewis Hamilton makes money off it. Yeah. Who makes money off it? Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, it's true. On the I'm saying it's a talent, isn't it? Yeah, that could have been me, not kind of. Yeah, <laughs> that knee injury though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> got a game. Yeah, you know, got a game. Broke my pinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, with go karting though, you're sex, so I couldn't. With like go karting, your parents need to be in it from like time. Like they need to be pushing you from from young. You got, it's not you, like you, you can't have a rich family, man. Like you, yeah. you can't, you can't be, like you know, you can't even be like middle class. You actually mm. have to have peas to put your son into your lessons. Even yeah. though, yeah. unless it's like very, very small minority, like well. super talented. Mm. Yeah. 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 What about you, AB? What would you say you're talented at or gifted at? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm quick witted, fam. I was gonna say yeah. the gift of the gap. It's a, yeah, it's a gift and a curse. I'm too quick, fam. <laughs> no, and I would say I'm quite creative as well. Nice. 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 I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say. And my cock. <laughs> you can look in two directions. <laughs> <laughs> no, you <didn't> violated. <laughs> oh way. man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, just remember who started it. <laughs> oh Sorry, God. No, 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 don't apologize. No. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> I would I say. Like, I set a man to put you in my list. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm, I'm quite good at like writing, like just in general writing. Um, what else you got? Oh, something you wish you were gifted at. What do I wish I was gifted at? Yeah. I wish I was good at drawing. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a yeah. good one, actually. Yeah. I'm terrible at drawing. I wish I was good at singing. I, like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't show up, you know. I'd just be singing everything. Like, I'll, I'll go to <laughs> restaurants and order while singing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Drew. Oh, like, my art, handwriting. Art singing. I wish I could improve. Same. Yeah, right. like that t- ties in with the art thing, innit? My handwriting. Yeah, it's terrible. Now, <laughs> what would you what would you say is one thing you wish you were better at, or good at, or gifted at? Um, I don't know. You know, I think the drawing and writing one is a good one. Yeah. So I can't draw. Your handwriting's alright. When <laughs> your handwriting's neat, you're bugging, bro. My handwriting is like, I can't even read it myself. Yes, yeah, my, <laughs> my handwriting is so, like hieroglyphics, fam. <laughs> Same, man. It's in my own language. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we've had that one already. The last compliment you got that stuck with you. <laughs> Bless you. The last compliment? That you got, yeah, that stuck with you. So that's someone, a compliment that like someone paid you that stuck and you can remember. Uh, about 10 minutes ago and uh, a Kyojin just called me cute that kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> not when they're in not. 
I don't know, man. I don't get complimented, fam. It's yeah, you know sadness. what it is? We're, we're, we're men, fam. We don't get complimented. Yeah. Just, oh, you know, I do get compl- I was going to say, I'm big into my shoes, innit? So I get complimented on my shoes quite a bit. So, you, 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 you contradicted my point, you know? Oh, go on, go on. I was trying to say that we don't get complimented, fam, with this guy. Like, you know what? I do get complimented on my no, shoes. Yeah, but the thing is, the shoes are not me, innit? Like, I'm not getting complimented. My shoes are getting complimented. But they're oh, your shoes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but still. It's, it's your not, property. Yeah, but it's like, I didn't design them. I oh. just own them. That's true. Yeah, I get complimented on my drip every now and then. Yeah. I don't, I don't do that to myself, and I don't really care, man. I know I dress good. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what about you, B? Someone complimented my eyes. <laughs> One. <laughs> what am I looking? Do you know how cute that is? Yeah, this guy was like, someone complimented my eyes. Yeah, very seriously. You know, everyone just started cracking up. Love. <laughs> oh my. Oh man. Uh, something uh, me uh, pe- people compliment my hair a lot but that's it nothing else yeah, yeah. Um, did, he, did he tell everyone that's a weave yeah <laughs> I bought this <laughs> donated I mean donated my AB's mum donated this to my hair yeah she didn't need it anymore so she gave it to me. Uh, I think it, it, it flopped <laughs> after I said your name back. <laughs> Just move on. Uh, next question is <clears throat> something that amazes you. Like, just it could be anything, like a fact or anything that amazes you. Do you know what amazes me? Like, you, you guys find it weird how, like, do you know how language is made? Like, someone just woke up one day and was like, a wave means hello. Or, like, hi, that sound hi is hello. Do you know what I mean? Like, just, when you, yeah. when you think about it, yeah, that's so weird and so confusing that, like, back in the day, people just made up random noises and decided, like, apple means apple. Like, imagine how different life would be if apple meant orange. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, that's a small example, but it's, it just amazes me, like, how, like, structured language is. I think one fact that I know that is pretty amazing, um, you know, when you look at the sky yeah, at night um, mm-hmm. and, like, you keep looking and new stars appear, yeah. Yeah. So if you're standing in one place and you look at the sky and like if you were able to take a screenshot of that, like at any one point you can see sixty thousand stars. Hey, That's uh, crazy, isn't it? In, in yeah. London though. Any like if you were standing in one place and you just looked up, like if it was visible, you'd be able to see sixty thousand stars. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why mm. I know that, but yeah. That's a good fact. That's a good fact. Yeah. What about you guys? My cock. <laughs> I'm yeah, I agree with that. Your your cock still. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got anything? Uh, space is quite amazing to me. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's so big. And also, the fact that it's expanding. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't talking about space. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days! Oh my days! Um, if you had more courage, what would you do differently in life? Something you would do differently in life if you had more courage. Quit my job. To what end, though? As in, what to what end would I quit my job? Yeah. Like, what, why do you need to do that? <laughs> oh, like to pursue other things, in it, and oh, like okay. take take a chance on something more exciting, if that makes sense. Mm. But like it's, that's not to say I want to quit my job. So if any of my managers are listening, like I don't actually want to quit my job. It's just for the question, okay? I don't really mm. want to. This is all for the vibes, all for entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I had more courage, I'd probably be, mar- be married by now. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. That's that's yeah. actually a good one. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Who wait? Who are you get married to, Ruby? Your mom. Your sister. <laughs> 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 Someone said, favorite childhood memory. Too many, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, when I was younger, um, 
this is not a one single memory it's like a collection of memories but my uh, me and my family we used to go to Cornwall quite often like Damn. pretty much every holiday we go Cornwall and it was like it was proper nice like we used to like rent out a bungalow go horse riding go down to the beach yeah horse I missed riding. them times yeah man I was bougie when I was younger bro jeez man yeah horse man riding. that's it yeah <laughs> but I really I really enjoyed that like and I would I would uh, I, even now I tell my parents like we should go back like we, that should be our next holiday now they just want to go to Turkey <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's wavy man that's wavy I feel like that's a good yeah. memory Cornwall is such a nice place but it's very racist now like obviously I didn't recognise that when I was younger but it's a, it's a very white area so oh okay for a, for a brown holiday it's not it's not <laughs> ideal <laughs> you can you can disguise yourself as calm fam yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lano, what would you say is your favorite childhood memory? I can't really think of one, man. He had no childhood. He was locked away <laughs> under the stairs. I just woke up. I mean, uh, I was born at twelve years old. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Bro, maybe, maybe like twelve years on, on was still it's still childhood. You know, all the way up to like seventeen, eighteen. I hear that. I think my trips to Pakistan when I was a kid. Yeah. Good memories. Just spending. Time with cousins and shit. Yeah. They're really good at that nowadays because you don't go to Pakistan as much. Hmm. I don't know, you lose ties as well. But yeah. that's lit. I, I, I wish I used to. I wish I wish I used to go. I wish I went to Pakistan when I was younger. Like I've not been. Yeah. I think I. Yeah, I think I'd really enjoy it. But... You have family. You, know you, you should do. Yeah, you, you should go on like an actual, mm-hmm. not like a tour, yeah, but like an actual holiday with Pakistan. Yeah. Do the beautiful parts of Pakistan and. Explore the country, you know, because normally when you go, you'd see your family and then you'd stay in there, yeah. and you'd not really go yeah. go there for an actual holiday destination. Obviously, it's big money as well, so do that whenever you can. Yeah, but that's why I highly recommend it. Because the last time I went that's... Pakistan, I kind of like mixed it up in it. It was yeah. my cousin's wedding, but we also like went to like mountains and up north, and then like just exploring every city. Yeah, that's that's what everything. I want to do. Yeah, that's probably. the thing like I don't really know my family there in it so I have no interest visiting them yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no connection it's so, too late it's too late as well yeah I'm just gonna be it, like what do you want it'd be more of a tourist thing to be honest for me yeah yeah definitely man we should go visit each other's countries as like for a video you know that will be sick it'll be sick isn't it? that'll be so sick yeah we could do that in one trip as well we all next to each other yeah. <laughs> we could do like a little like a car journey in it <laughs> for Bangladesh you know that's floating away somewhere <laughs> we've, got to go, we've got to go to Bangladesh first bro <laughs> yeah, get, that, get that out of the way innit um, I think for me it's going to my nan's house it's probably my favourite childhood memory um, maybe do you see us playing out oh that's a good one hmm? that's a good one playing out Oh, play like playing outside. Yeah, playing outside, man. Yeah, like bikes and that. Bikes, football on the roads, like yeah. Not down ginger. Like bare shit, fam. Hide and seek on the roads, like bare shit. Yeah, that's that's a good shout, still. Things that I can't say for legal reasons. <laughs> this guy's chatting oh. shit, fam. He's all he's all yeah. about stuff like crossing the road without looking both ways. Yeah, he's trying to make it seem like he was out there selling drugs. Childhood criminal, man. Um, biggest regret in life? I think maybe not tr- uh, not trying hard enough in school. Nah, do you know what? Oh, I, I'm not going to say now nah for you, but for me, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, that's, that's the first thing my mind goes to. But then I think, like, I'm in my position now. I, I got a degree for free, fam. Like mm. and no amount of extra studying would have changed that fact. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I, I think I'm and I, I'm very thankful for that. I'm a, I'm in a very privileged position. Um to, like at the moment. Yeah. So yeah, I don't I think that school thing I is not something that I, I worry about. Because I had fun in school. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so I, the me- memories. Knowing what position I'm in now, I yeah, I wouldn't trade that for, for like missing out on that. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, no, I, I cut you off though. Just no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you though. I agree with you. I think like trying hard in yeah. school would be one like I would look back on res- retrospectively. But at the same time, I, I think to myself, like if I tried harder in school, yeah, 
if, let's say I got into some sick uni yeah. and stuff, yeah, and I met met all these boring people. Like, I I got the job I got right now because I because I like dropped out of uni. Like, there's a reason why. Like, I feel like my yeah. life is quite good right now because of the people I know, rather than yeah. any like um, degree or like how quickly I got my degree or like any results or shit like that. Do you know what I mean? The whole video yeah. is gonna be a b c. And also. <laughs> that's all I'm laughing at <laughs> uh, AB wake up <laughs> also I was going to say yeah, like if if all of us had like studied harder at school we probably wouldn't know each other Yeah, because literally us knowing each other came from chilling in the in the sixth form block like doing nothing you, you know, know I mean? if I studied hard yeah I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know who you man are cause I would yeah exactly studied. yeah so now I wouldn't trade that for anything man yeah aww I love I you man I agree. I love you. I love you too, man. <laughs> I agree. I um, love so what, what would you say is your best, your biggest regret then? If you have one. It doesn't even, like, when I say it's biggest, really it can be minor. <clears throat> like, one time you stole something, you didn't return it, or some shit like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you know London's, what? London's thinking I... about all the times where he stole shit from us. <laughs> <laughs> and I would never ask them, man. It was Bossman Shop on Kingsley High Road. And shop. You remember that? No, I no, I, can't, I can't even say. I can't even say. Too many stories. Nah. I don't even incriminate myself. That guy probably like hung himself the amount of times. Bro, fam, the first thing that would come out of him, he'd say to man them, "Go on, keep robbing more." Like he was in the <laughs> <laughs> Wait, remember the, the, the Coca Cola shop? Yeah, yeah. The Marsh shop. Yeah. The Marsh shop was was shambolic here yeah, because you'd go in there. I don't think AB was there like yet, but it was on Stag Lane or something. Like that. And yeah. it was hella small, and you go in there, and like the entrance for the the till was all the way at the end of the shop, and all the stuff was at the front of the shop. So to yeah. come round, like you you could just take the stuff from the, near the door and then walk out, and then by the time they got to the front of the door, like you're already like, I don't know, two streets away. Yeah, like, yeah. You know I mean, and they had no limit on how many people could be in the store as well. <laughs> like that store would be packed out, man. Yeah, yeah. Like you'd wait for all the nerds to go in, yeah, and then just like go in and pick someone and walk back yeah. out while they were like serving the That's not my ah. proudest moment, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Maybe that could, that's a regret. <laughs> <laughs> See, man, I don't know. I pay for all the master. Yeah, that's what I'm nah, my, I gave boss my extra tip and like. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, just a tip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was going to say, if I really think about it, I think, um, like, Obviously, I'm half white in it, so my grandma on my mum's side wasn't was never Muslim. So oh, I think like, why he love the guy says he's half white. He started yeah. laughing. Fam. Hey, this is this is a serious, this is a serious, this is a serious, serious thing. This yeah. is serious. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't care. But yeah, um, I'd say like I regret not trying hard enough with her, or even like my mum's dad as well. Uh, like before they passed away, like not trying hard enough to bring them to Islam. Basically, I think that's that's something I will always regret. There's a bit of a personal Personally. question here, but how how old were you when they passed away? Yeah. Uh, my granddad was when I was like six, maybe five or six. Uh, and yeah. my grandma, she passed away like, I'm really bad with dates, but probably like maybe two years ago, two, three years ago. Oh, okay. Probably before that, maybe. Maybe two, three, four, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Pers- obviously, like... You know, you're saying it's like a big regret from like from an outsider yeah. looking in, and obviously, like to that point, you're still like a child, isn't it? Like with all your yeah, that's issues true, yeah. and like problems in life, like yeah, you have a responsibility to the people around you, but you also have a responsibility yeah. to like carry on with your own life and deal with your own problems. And you know, I'm sure your mom, your mom tried. You know what I mean? Like it would have been her trying. Yeah. And before before it became yeah. your responsibility, if that makes sense. That's the thing, like, obviously I have in my mind that they were adults, so it's their yeah. own life as well. But yeah, it's just like, obviously you think about those things and it. obviously being a Muslim, your goal is to, like, the it ones you love, to, like, to bring them into it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, that, yeah, definitely. That, that's, that's something that I, I think about sometimes. Yeah. For sure. I'm going to cry, bro. It's not that deep. It's not, it's not a sad topic. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, check it. Uh... What about, what about biggest fear in life? Uh, alone. Probably seeing yeah. my mom. Seeing what? Seeing my mom, though. No, I think my fear, 
I feel like this is a, this is a, a dangerous question. You know, we're gonna, we're all gonna start crying on camera and shit. You know, no, but like, what what would fear would I have? I fear nothing, man. <laughs> I feel like my my biggest fear is uh my dad passing away before like I make something of myself in it. Do you know what I mean? Now, obviously, I I come to accept that obviously people are gonna pass away at a certain time, uh, but I would never want my dad to pass away before I can like make him proud of me, and I think that would that would destroy me. Not gonna lie. Very weird Ooh. thing to think about, but you know, like obviously, Islamically, when someone dies, you wash the body, and it's usually like the men from that family who wash the body, right? Yeah, so it's like if my granddad dies and my dad dies, like I'm the man of the house in it, so I would have to be there, and that's something I like, I hate thinking about. I've never been in that position before in it, so like, I, I think about like, I don't know, it, it's just a weird thing to think about, like having to, having to be there. Because I've never experienced yeah. it before, and especially for it to be someone like that I love so much, I think that'd be tough. Yeah, yeah. So, with with went to depressing territory, you know. <laughs> Ab, what was your biggest fear? I think that- it's gonna say something like my wood being too big for my girl or something. Like that. <laughs> I ain't alone. Oh, dying alone. Dying alone. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> no, <I'm joking>. Ooh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> by alone. Huh? You know when you say alone, do you mean as in, in a relationship or friends? Or and family? No, in a relationship. Oh, okay. Oh. Friends and family would be even more scary for them. Like imagine like all your family leave you and you just by your deathbed mm. by yourself. Damn, a lot of our fears have to do with death, you know. You know, I used to have uh, dreams about me dying, fam. Really? Like me getting stabbed and shit, shot. I used oh, to have dreams no. that I was on a cliff. <laughs> I had a dream my sister was stabbing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was messed up, man. Take you to Asia. So, bro. <laughs> that was, that was um, crazy. What is your biggest accomplishment in life? Uh, getting a degree. 100%. Like, especially knowing how I was at school. Like, in my mind, I was never getting a degree. I was going to start a retail job and, like, progress from there. And that's it. Mm. So, definitely getting a degree. Mashallah, and doing it and doing it without debt. So, I'm, I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. Me and AB looking at, oh, damn, shit. We're, we're, <laughs> we're swimming in that debt right now. <laughs> I think mine mine is very similar in it because I mm. finished my degree like at the beginning of like in the middle of lockdown like part one where it was like yeah. I would have to work all day like eight hours a day and then I like, eat food and then literally from then I would start writing my dissertation or like any exams I had through the night and it was like literally two months of like just me doing that like being working all day and then working through the night and getting like four hours sleep a day for literally whole two months and then when I ended up like finishing it all yeah I was just like damn like, I don't think, I feel like it took a lot for me to finish all that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. And yeah. also going back to uni as well after I dropped out. That was probably a big accomplishment, personally. Yeah. Maybe, what would you say? I don't know. I don't feel like I've achieved something like. What kind of nonsense is this? After last week, we found out that head of year was telling you to be an ambulance driver. <laughs> yeah. You went, got de- you went and got a degree from I don't know, man. Uh, it must be. It must be me and me and it changed your life, and now we're here. I changed your life. But fam, the thing, like, obviously, like, now you don't want to be copying our answers, but you have a degree, fam. That's not, not that's not something small. Like, that's a big thing, man. Yeah, it's true. It's true, especially with me and my back, my fucking. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say your backside. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it's it's a very big accomplishment, man. I appreciate it, man. When I make everyone millionaires, that's when I'll be like, accomplished that. Yes, yes, please. There was an actor who did that in it. He gave like fourteen of his friends a million dollars to sign. Is it? Like George Clooney or something like that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, George Clooney, yeah. 
he, they let him stay on his on their couches while he was while he was acting doing auditions. Yeah. And shit. Um, I've, I've, yeah. Landlord, you can become an actor, you know. Well, you got a face for it. No, I'm too sure. in Bolly, Bollywood. No, nah, I mean like you, you know, like in in American military movies, the terrorists, isn't it? Trim, no trim. I'm looking like a terrorist. Oh, joke, oh, joke. Lalo, what, what would you say is your your biggest accomplishment? And don't say don't say nothing, bro. Bro, that's the answer I was gonna give you. Like, no, I know that's what you got. That's 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 impossible. There's like there's bare things that you achieved, bro. I remember one time that's why you got the record for like the most runs in cricket at high school. No, I don't even think so. I think you just need to know you know, to, to guess me up. Now, well, like, bro, I remember we were sitting, we were sitting and like, I can't remember it yet. I don't know if you had any classes in year 11 or something. Oh, like, like you most hit, wickets, then. So, I don't know, like, you, you hit the, the roof of the, the school and like broke the, the roof or some shit like that. Yeah, fine. That's an accomplishment to me, you know, saying that. <laughs> that's, that's really fun. Cool. I, like, I, I don't think any of us can hit a board that far. Saying that, no, but T, that was an accomplishment. Yeah. I yeah. also like bef- before before all of us, you you pass your driving test way before all of us. This is the first one. Uh-huh. I don't think that's an accomplishment. First one to start driving as well. Bro, that's definitely yeah, an accomplishment. Bro. Bro. I, um, I still don't have my uh, driving license. Driving is an accomplishment, man. It's just a car, man. It just goes through places. This is just it, nonsense. For, from someone who's passionate I, about cars, saying it's just a car, you know, it gives you freedom, uh, man. man. I'm done with that game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Bro, we named like we named like five accomplishments. Come off it, bro. This, yeah. guy play, this guy's playing humble now. No, I'll accept them then. If you think those are accomplishments, then and, and also I got another one. He cried every it go at school as well. That wasn't me. That was AB. You know, an AB came to chess and I took every game. Nah, nah, nah. Lando, Lando got every go in all throughout high school, bro. No, no. AB had a plan B, plan C. <laughs> 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 it was all different. Isn't it? <laughs> When one, when one girl didn't turn up to school, you go to the next. Uh, so I think we've gone on for quite a bit. We've got time for one more question, yeah? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Someone said, why is Elton John gay? Because <laughs> <laughs> you liked out the bum, innit? Boy. I'm well, that's good. Not- that's a question that you got to ask him, fam. Why, why are you asking us? <laughs> but yeah, all we know is Elton John is gay. Um... <laughs> that's not an insult either. That's a known fact. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Big up my man. Good singer, man. Do your thing. Yeah. Good singer, you know. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. I know that, bro. Made a song with <laughs> Some great right. words. Who is it? Like Chip and someone else. DJ Ironic. DJ Ironic, that was a banger. Man. <laughs> Fam, Elton John made a song with uh, Young Thug. Is it? Yeah. He made it. M- Eminem produced sick. a song with him and him and Tupac. You know, oh. Girl Gospel. Yeah, Eminem. Shit, man. He shit. Okay, I feel like we're, yeah. we're diverging in it. Um, so yeah, uh, what's called? We don't have time for all the rest of your questions today, but we got through quite a lot of them. Um, you guys tried to make us cry at some points for some weird reason. Um, hmm. AB spoke a lot about his wood for some weird reason. Um, but the rest, if your question wasn't answered today, I promise you, we were literally going one by one. We answered every question down the list. Um, and the ones that get left out, we will do them in a, in a, in a future episode. Yeah. Are we, do, are we doing a part two? Uh We'll, we'll, we'll keep it to be confirmed, isn't it? Like we don't know when it will come out. Um, but yes, boss. This, that if if you get us to let's say how many likes should we say on on YouTube? Um, I don't want to well, be too well, ambitious. Fifty k. When I said too ambitious, I was thinking of like ten. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> get us nah. to thirty because we got like ten on the last one. Yeah, if you get us to. 30. Fuck it, hundred likes and hundred subs, and we do a part two. Yeah, we'll do a part two. Um, but yeah, right. it's been a, it's been a good episode, and we we'll just leave you one thing: Elton John is gay. Good night. <laughs> Peace.